Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we look at some capsicum and some scotchy peppers, the results of the pruning. All of that is coming up. So we will first look at the capsicum peppers, starting from this, the smallest one. This pepper sitting right here was stopped like about two weeks before its initial transplant. I deliberately gave it that much time so that when I actually transplanted it, it took a lesser time to recover. As you can see, it has a number of branches with lots of foliage, very happy and healthy. It is just a little over four weeks since transplanted and it had actually started flowering already. And this is very good. Now we will look at the second plant, which is doing exceptionally well. It is much taller and has way more branches. As you can see, it's flowering nicely and it is way more pronounced. So we're expecting it to set more fruits, which means a greater yield and eventually a successful harvest. So what we are looking at here now is the flowering and the many branches that this plant has already produced and it's just about 13 inches in height. So you can expect greater things in a few weeks from now. Now moving on to this, the third plant, it is doing fairly well so far. It has two main branches with some smaller branches popping up. It also has less foliage as compared to the previous two and it is flowering nicely. So we are expecting great things from this one as well. So guys, so far we are only having three capsicum pepper plants here in this raised bed. And those are my two dashing plants surrounded by white lilies right there. So these peppers right here have not been given any chemical fertilizers. What they are planted in is simply grass compost and garden soil. And so far they are doing great. Guys, we have just seen the capsicums, so now let us take a look at the scotches. So we have in this planter right here five scotches, two were pruned and three left unpruned. We start by looking at the pruned ones. After being topped off, this scotch here is not doing too badly. It has two large branches at the top and a smaller branch at the lower end. It's looking pretty healthy right now. However, it hasn't started flowering as yet. Now let's move on to the other one right here. It wasn't doing so well after being topped off, but has made a great transition since it was transplanted here. Now showing up right here is the area that was clipped. And this has produced several branches as a result. So how this particular plant is doing so well, it has actually started flowering. I'm not sure if you are able to see it, but there's a little one popping up right here. And there is also another one at the end of this branch. So it's right here in this little area. I'm hoping that you are able to see it. Now these that I'm about to show you, I specifically didn't top them off because I wanted to see how well they would do in comparison to the others. So what we are seeing is that they are actually taller than the other plants and they are having some small shoots just popping up at the low end. This one right here is unpruned as well and it has some small shoots popping up at the lower end right here. These shoots are a bit more pronounced as opposed to the one that I showed you earlier but nevertheless they are not doing too badly. Really need to get rid of those weeds that are showing up around these plants but all of that will happen in due time. This one is not doing badly either but if you notice what happens is that those that are pruned are more bushier and actually one out of the two actually started to flower. These three have not started any flowering as yet, but they are just showing up some small shoots at the lower ends. So guys, actually what you're seeing here is that I have five scotch bonnets 
and three capsicum peppers in this planter so that's eight pepper plants so if you're liking this video please give a like and also to drop a comment down in the comment section so it's pretty obvious that the prune plants are outdoing the unpruned plants especially the bell peppers they have more branches and obviously they are producing more flowers in comparison to the scotch bonnet peppers just to let you know, these guys were pruned on the same date and they were all transplanted at the same time. So actually what I did was to transplant these guys in the late evening where the temperature is much cooler. So they will have that cooler temperature throughout the night and into the morning. So this will help these plants now to actually recover quicker. So doing it this way is much safer because it will actually prevent the plants from shock as opposed to if I should transplant them in the morning and having to deal with the heat throughout the greater part of the day. Now guys you can check out this video on your left to see how I actually do my hand pollination of my pepper plant. You can also check out my other videos after watching that one. Thank you.